Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I record my audio cast, I am technically a man who is living in travel mode. I'm in travel mode because someone stole my identity, much like they stole my cell phone a couple months ago. They are continuing to interfere with my lawful rights to my own life. They have committed fraud in pretending to be me. Many people are starting to shave their head and wear goatees or long beards like me. I often question, was I brought here by the Lord so that I would fit in better or be a leader of that new fashion trend of men, or whether I would be put in a position to be impeded or imposed upon by young men who have not learned how to live their life correctly. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of the world, and if you do not know how to socialize appropriately in American culture, then you're not going to make it unless you're living in your own little world. What I mean by that is that we have a lot of countries who come over, they make good relations with Americans, but they still like to go to their Chinatown, their Japantown, their Indianville, their whatever. And they have those shopping centers, they have those malls, they have those places, Hispanic grocers and whatnot, where they can find a little bit of their culture and heritage. Everyone in life wants to find a place to fit in, a face to place to belong, and a place where they can use their own heritage, their own language, and their own concepts of the world. The problem is that America is no longer a melting pot. It is totally a smorgasbord where you have the opportunity to pick and choose from the buffet of life what it is you're wanting to, well, have in life, to a point. We also have plenty of people that will pick up behind you and interfere with your rights to do things in life. They will really interfere with your lawful right to be the best you can be in your own self and your own right. There are plenty of men that want to be in power over a very strong, assertive woman. They will use their physicality, they will use their muscularity, they will use a lot of ways to win. But in the end, their sin is always revealed because their true self comes out. That true self might be an ugly lout. That true self might be a loving man. But when Jesus Christ is paying attention to your life, I'm guessing your life is better than before. When he's not participating, when he's not a part of you, when you're not praying to him, and that's what you do, you often put your life at greater risk. You become somewhat vain in your idea on life. You become a little violent in your concepts of retaliation on people who did probably nothing to you at all. And openly you're not well in your mind or in your soul because you think you've got all the answers is possibly true but whether or not you do is really up to the people around you I mean after all when we're trying to make a living we have to have networking contacts who will always promote us who will always raise us to the highest level in front of other people and who will not disparage my name your name or anyone else's name when I talk about this, I'm reminded of the mistakes that I've made in my youth, where I made a comment that was totally honest, totally innocent, but it sort of monkeyed a relationship for me. Not because of something I said was wrong, but because people do gossip all day long. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the world, and the truth of the world often doesn't match up to our beliefs about God. You see, when God produces a relationship, he produces one that's exactly right. It's exactly right at that moment in time, and it might be exactly right or wrong going forward in time. The problem is not the time. The problem is when people pick and choose whether or not they'll act in the house of God or whether they'll continue down a road to Satan.